guys, I'm Venomous Batman here. I'm here with RealTalkingGamer.com here at Miami Comic Con, and I'm standing next to the Fuser. Please give a big shout out and talk to all the fans. How y'all doing out there? It's the Diffuser from Stan Lee's. Who wants to be a superhero season? Nope. Now, please tell everybody, you know, how you've been enjoying the convention. You know, I see you got tons of stuff. Like, please get a shot at this. You got comic books. You got t-shirts. You got business stuff. You got a DVD. I got swag, brother. You got, I got swag. swag. You got swag. It's so amazing. So, tell everybody, you know, how you've been enjoying the event. I've been having a great time here in Miami. I've never been here before. You know, never I've been never been to Miami. I got these great people. South Beach a little bit. Lots of pretty women in this town. It's Miami. Wow. And then you're a superhero too. Yeah, so, you know, I've had a great time. I've uh, got a lot of you know, a lot of nice folks here in Miami. The show, Wizard World, having a great time. I have to make a little bit of money. Awesome. But what more do you want? Nothing wrong with that at all. Now, tell us a little bit about your, pretty much your persona as well, a little bit. Reader's Digest version. In real life, I'm a police detective, an awesome detective. I've been there 18 years. And I developed a program called Being a Hero in Your Community because I realized when I went to talk to a lot of the inner city kids, they didn't relate to the cop uniform. So I created a superhero persona got a lot better feedback from the young kids. Then Stan Lee creates this show, Who Wants to Be a Superhero? And my friends are like, dude, you're nerdy enough to pull this off. And I'm a comic book geek. I got like 12,000 comics in my garage. And so I auditioned for the show, made a, you know, went out there, had a good time, won the show. Now I got my own comic book, action figure, DVD. I see that. so amazing. You know, just having a great time, man. Comic book, comic nerd's dream. Well, I mean, hey, comic book, anything's happening. Comic book, it's so amazing. But, you know, please tell everybody, you know, I'm about to see you for a little bit. I wanted to ask, you know, you know, everybody saw the show out there and everything. Tell a little bit, you know, what is like your, you know, your arsenal choice? Pretty much like, what is that your main goal as a diffuser? The main goal of the diffuser is, like any kid, he performs at 110%. We all know that all kids, whether it's school, sports, whatever, you got to give 110%. All my weapons are non-lethal weapons. Taser gloves, blue grenades, you know, martial arts, because uh, I love you know, UFC. And, uh, you know, he just goes out there and, you know, and kicking ass since 2005. Okay. Now, if there's one thing that the fuser stands up against as far as anything in the course of the season, what exactly would that be? Bully. Bully? Bully. There you go. I don't like bullies, brother. You better not go stealing kids' lunch money because we'll get to the fuser. Exactly. Right? Being big and bad don't mean you got to be big and bad. Whoa. So, anyway, thank you so much. My for pleasure, man. Pleasure. Y'all have a good one. Please give a big shout out to the Real Talk of Game of Fans out there. Play it hard, guys. Play it hard. We'll be back with some more coverage here at Miami Comic Con. Talk to you guys again.